the companions of the Prophet والسلام, were sitting talking amongst themselves hadith of Sahih Muslim when he came and he asked what are you talking about and they said we are talking about the signs of the last day one of the major signs of the last day and you know that there are ten the ten are not given in the order in which they will occur it's a big English word chronological order in which they will occur which one comes first which second which we didn't we, we don't have that what are the ten number one Dajjal number two Gog and Magog number three the return of the son of Mary Nabi Isa salam. number four Dukhan smoke and the Quran says that one day it's going to be plainly visible in the sky number five Dab Batul Ab a creature or beast of the land which land? which land? I say the holy land al Ardul Muqaddasa number six that the sun would rise from the west number seven eight and nine three earthquakes in which the earth will sink down and swallow what it swallows one in the east one in the west and the third one in Arabia and number ten that a fire will come out of Yemen and this is not the fire that you use to cook as a symbolic language and drive people to their place of assembly for judgment so of these ten I want to turn to the smoke a nuclear war would be one in which nuclear powers will use every single nuclear weapon that they possibly can use because it's going to be a fight to the finish and so the world can now expect that if a nuclear war were to take place excuse me too late now to say if rather it should be when the nuclear war takes place when the nuclear war takes place because they've already declared war on Russia if you're living in France and Britain and in Western Europe and if you don't know that your leaders have declared war on Russia and the nuclear war is now inevitable and when that nuclear war takes place that thousands of nuclear weapons will explode if you don't know that then you are living in dreamland and if you hope to survive in Western Europe you are also living in dreamland when it does take place then I want to suggest to you tonight that the mushroom clouds which come from nuclear explosions which will probably blot out sunlight so that there will be no sunlight in the world for how long I don't know the Christians speak of three days and three nights of no sunlight but there's a hadith which speaks of 40 I, am one, I want to suggest to you tonight for you to think about it that when the Prophet alayhi salatu waslam spoke about smoke, dukhan as one of the signs of the last day that he was referring to the mushroom clouds which will come 
from nuclear war, the malhamat. 